Well, hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That is right. And I am so excited about this that we're going to be making today because we are going to be making a bicycle uh Bicycle wheel. Uh, wheel. I couldn't <laughs> think all of a sudden. Bicycle wheel. Yes. Yeah. And we've got this adorable little bunny that we're using on it. I just love him. He's so cute. Yeah. So y'all come in and get ready to see us make this. It is going to be adorable. Yeah. I love these wheels. I love this mint color that uh, is in this. Isn't that pretty? So welcome everybody. Thank y'all yes. so much for joining us today for Flower Friday. We are so happy to be with you today. We if you are. are joining us live, just type live in the comments and let us know where you're watching this video from. And if you're watching us on replay, please just type replay in the comments. And again, let us know where you're watching our video from. Let us know what the weather is like where you are because here it has been crazy today. It, it really has. The we, wind has been, I, I just have never seen it quite like this. Yeah, I mean, we, it has been something. We just got power. Yes. <laughs> which we were so hoping that we yes, would get it. So we, that we were, were worried able, about that, but yep. So that we would be able to be live with you guys. That's so, right. Welcome. In one uh, of those days. It has been. It's been crazy weather, and I know a lot of y'all have probably had that kind of crazy weather too. Yes. Hey, Jerry. Welcome. Hey there, so Jerry. Glad you're here with us. Hey, yeah. Sandra. Hey. So we're going to go ahead and get started and let you know what we're working with today. This is a little bit of a different style wreath, but I am so excited about this. Yes. So we have our wheel that came from um, the Michael TM, TMI. Is it TMI? TMI gifts. gifts. So you can find them TMI online. TMI gifts. Yes. And I've seen similar at some of the other craft stores. Yes, you can, check you can find them. But can, I, I love these. I love the color. Isn't that just so yeah, pretty? This is actually so spring. That mint color is actually one of my very favorite colors. It is. I, I love, love it. it. And it's very lightweight, so it's going to be easy to work with. Well, yes. I hope it's going to be easy to work with. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I think it will. I honestly believe anybody could do what we're fixing to do. This is going to be that easy, really. And uh, our little bunny, this is a little metal bunny that uh, also came from TMI Gifts. And uh, that is just so cute. And I thought, well, that is just perfect to go on this wheel. Now, if you didn't want to do one that was specifically for Easter, you could just leave this off and just do what we're going to do with the flowers. It would be perfect for all spring, but uh, I kind of like the bunny. So we're going to, we're going to use the bunny today. And then we've got some ivy that we're going to be using. These are some ivy picks from Joann's that we're going to be using. And I love these. They are so full and it's actually uh, they're, they're kind of a plasticky, uh, ivy, but I love that look of them. I think they're just so, so pretty. So we're going to use that. And then we've got some hydrangeas that we're going to use some blue hydrangeas. And now you could use any kind of, uh, you know, florals that you wanted yes, in this. Yes, any, any that you wanted. Um, you know, we just chose some that we thought kind of matched cute with the sun, but yeah. whatever you wanted to use in there, you could. So we've got some pink rhinoculuses, some little lilies, some little purple lilies. So that is what, and then our little white wildflowers that we're going to add to it just to kind of make it even cuter. Yeah. So, so I hope you guys have had a great week. Yes. Uh, we, do, or I just got off of a cruise this week, so getting back into the hang of things. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we come back to some wild weather. That's right, and I had baby Bennett, her baby, while uh, they were gone, and uh, so Gigi had fun. Gigi and Papa had fun with Bennett while they were on their cruise, and the girls had so much fun, didn't they? Oh, yeah, they it exactly. was a Disney cruise, so you know how that is. They had a blast. And, yes, uh, we were spoiled for sure. Yep, and we had fun ourselves. So if you will, guys, um, if you will share this video with your friends, Please we would do. really, really appreciate it. First and, thing. And let me say this. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe if you would, because we are all the time putting new videos on of uh, things that you can learn to make. And hit that bell so that you uh, get notified when we do release new things. So I'm going to go ahead and attach our sign here. If this is a really thin metal sign. Yep. Be cute. <laughs> he is so cute. Little little bunny butt. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. 
and attach this. Nancy asked, would you do a Disney cruise again? Do you recommend it? Yes. A hundred times yes, yes, it sounds it to was me like. Yeah. Incredible. So yes, if you're on the fence, just do it. <laughs> just do it. It was great. So I'm going to go ahead. Now you will need your zip ties for this, some extra long zip ties. And we are using a jewelry hole punch to, um, to put the little holes in the sign. You know, if you wanted to drill, you could. You could probably even get a nail and kind of hammer yeah, a little hole. Yeah, you could. Hole. But if you have one of these jewelry hole punches, they come in really handy with these. They with these do. Signs. Yes, they really do. I mean, we use ours all the time, and uh, we'll put a link mm -hmm. to Amazon where you can find all that we're using, all all the stuff. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a couple of holes here. Let me see how. Now, I've yeah. got one if you want to see where I put. I mean, it I'm doesn't have make to be the couple, same. But and yeah. we'll see. I mean, the, the holes are so small that... Yeah, if you, you know. mess up, you can, you know, you're there, nobody's going to see it. And especially if you're doing it for yourself, it's wire. okay. Where did I put the wire? There it, it is. Either. Yeah, I had it. I knew I had it somewhere. There you go. All right. So, we're using 26 gauge floral wire for this. Yes. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach this in a couple different places. Hope these, hopefully these spots where I put this hole, these holes will work. I think they will. And you can put him on here anywhere that you want him. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to see the wire a little bit, but I don't think it's going to matter It's not going to matter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, play around with this a little bit and see our placement. Now we did go ahead and make our bow. This is just a stacked bow, but if you would like to see a tutorial, we'll link that for you guys. Um, and if you want to show them the ribbon, you can. Yes, I've I got will. It over here. Um, I am just straightening out my ivy because some of them were turned backwards. And so I'm making sure that all of my ivy leaves are turned the same way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and- Yes, let me have the, this. Hopefully this will be- and Enough. this is the ribbon while she's doing that. Um, we These are all one and a half inch. We use the uh, lavender and white checked, which I love this. And these came from Fifth Street Studios. We also used um, the pretty little Swiss dot, the uh, yellow with the white Swiss dot. And then I, I think we used the last of it, but we also used a just a solid pink in this and yes. uh perfect perfect you perfect. got it on perfect good good so see you can see that was not too hard very um easy. and i've just made the two little holes and it worked perfectly and it's on there real secure so yeah so yes very easy to attach and just so you see what i was doing some you know the leaves are kind of going every which way so sometimes i'll just take them off like that and then make sure that they're all facing the same way, especially in something like this, because these this is gonna be the backdrop of where we're gonna put our flowers. So I just want them all to be kind of facing forward so I don't have any backwards. So just kind of turn those around and then you can kind of spread those out a little bit, just like that. And I'm gonna make sure that my other, other one is the same way. Now, we're gonna put these opposite each other, just like this. So just get those in your hand. I do this, literally just put everything in my hand. And I'm gonna start with my hydrangeas because these are the largest flowers that I've got. So I wanna make sure after my greenery that I start with my largest flower and just put one at the top and one at the bottom, just like this. Now I'll just show you our bow is gonna go in the center. So right now we're just going to be putting our flowers. So I'm going to put my one of my pink ones at the top and one of my pink ones at the bottom. And you can pull these around and get them arranged after you get them all together. So you don't have to worry about doing that yet. So now I'm gonna put my cute little lilies in. I think the hardest, this is actually super easy to make. Literally the hardest part is just holding it all in your hand. Yes, you just <laughs> holding it all and getting the zip tie, you know, while you're holding it. That's gonna be 
the most difficult, just like that. So we've got that. Now I want to add some of my, and I should have cut these off before I uh, did this. I'm trying to see if I want to add some at the top and some at the bottom, or if I just want to use, yeah, I'm going to cut them off. So, I'll cut some of those off, and then push everything up to the top. Yeah, we should have cut pre-cut those. Yep, I should have done that. But that's okay. We can do them one-handed. Yep, we can. <laughs> Fortunately, hey, we're, we're pretty one. good. I, yeah, I we're a, pretty good at that. One that wants to be held all the time. You know, yes. one and a half year old that wants to be held all the time. So I'm used to doing things one-handed. Yeah, you kind of you kind of have to, don't you? Okay, so we're gonna put one up at the top and one at the bottom, and then I'm gonna put another one at the bottom. I do want to say real quick, though, guys, make sure that when you're cutting these off, you're cutting them off. You do need the stems a lot. As yeah, long as you, you need can. them as long as you can get them. That's these even true. are a tiny bit short, I feel like. Yeah, they are a little bit. But we're going to make we're it gonna work. We're going to make it work. Okay, now did I put two at the bottom? Yes. Okay, so I need two at the top. Because you're going to put that zip tie. Yes. Right now, in the you center. can always go back if. Uh, you know, if you need extra zip ties and put a couple of different zip ties yeah, yeah. on them, that, that would be fine. But so now we're just going to zip tie this together. And I just got to make sure that I get this down to where all my stems are in it. But like I said, if I need to uh, put another one, I can do that. And I'll tell you a little secret. If I wasn't on a video right now, I would be using my teeth to pull this because I do oh. that all the time, but I'm not going to do that on the video. I don't think y'all would mind if we use our teeth. Yeah. Huh? Hey, I, I do whatever is easiest. Yeah, and sometimes it's easy to just grab that zip tie with my teeth. Hey, so don't feel bad if you have to use your teeth. Yeah, if you have to use your teeth, it's okay. Fact, so lying. now you just want to get it as tight as you can get it, just like that. And then I'm just going to cut that zip tie off right there and I'm just gonna make sure that everything is good and secure in there and push things around so really you know it, you're just kind of making a bouquet right now yes we're gonna right in flip it hand. around and stuff later but I mean you know you can later we'll move everything where we want it but right yeah. now you know just you don't have to worry about that while you're putting it in your hand. No. You just want to get it all attached. You just want to get it all put together. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be cute. I think it is, too. Super cute. And this is something different. It's always fun, especially at Easter. I feel like it's really it is it's fun, fun to, to do. do something a little different. Okay, now I'm just kind of spreading things out. And do that carefully because things will pull out if you you know, get too heavy handed on it. But I'm just spreading my ivy out first. I just start at the back, spreading it around and making sure that I turn the ivy pieces, make sure they're all facing the way they need to. Karen, the, the wheel is from tmigifts.com. I've got it pinned in the comments there. Um, I've got their website pinned in the comments. So I think they have a search, but I'll try to find me exact link for the bicycle when we get finished yeah but until then if you want to go look you can search their site because it's on there and now once you do this you just kind of want to pull things around where you want them but the main thing i'm concerned about is getting the the ivy exactly because i then once i put it down on my wheel i'm going to add my bow to it and then i can pull the flowers around where I want it to be. Okay, so, so now I'm just going to put it here on my wheel. I think I will do it up just a little bit like that. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. Okay, so, now, I'm just going to use the wire from my bow to secure 
this to the bicycle wheel, hopefully. So we're going to see. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and You, and you may tie. not have to zip tie it. I'm just going to see if it I can. It might secure, but yeah. y'all know me. I like to make she sure likes things, things are yeah. really secure. Yeah. Uh, like my, it, you know, if I'm, this if this gets too if it's too loose then I'll I'll like go back I and zip tie. I am a gluer it. and an attacher and a yeah. whatever. I make sure it like if something is on there, I make sure it's all there good. Yeah, and I think this is pretty secure, but I'm going to double check it just to be sure and straighten out my bow. Vicky said, "Have you seen the flocked?" Uh, bunnies at walmart i, I have I not have seen, seen them at walmart pictures i have, of them. Seen I have them. not seen them at, they are at sam's, walmart <laughs> sam's club has a set i bought a set it's so adorable it's 30 something dollars i can't remember exactly but you get two of the big bunnies is it two or three it's it's at three, least yeah. two they're the flocked bunnies and they're the flocked bunnies they're about this big and then you get three uh, of the bottle brush trees that have the eggs on them that are, you know, all of it in the pastel. I think that the bunnies, I think one of them is this mint green and the other one, I, it's either pink or yellow. I can't remember to tell you the truth. Um, but uh, I can't, I've, it's still boxed up. I got it the other day and I can't wait to put it, I think I'm going to put it on my mantle. I think we should but, show y'all um, those. But yes, I will um, show. I, I will are, get those. They're cute. They're like they the ones are. at Walmart. Our, we have not seen them at our Walmart yet. I mm -mm. have seen others that have them at their Walmarts. But yes. I haven't seen them at ours yet. I'm hoping we get No, them. and I'm hoping we do because they really are adorable. But if you have a Sam's Club membership, the Sam's Club ones are really They cute. are. They are very, and I thought that for what you get, Yet the it was not too expensive, so I was I was tickled with the the price of it and all, and I cannot wait to get it out. But I'm trying I'm trying to hold out just a little bit longer. I have started putting some of my spring things out. In fact, uh, in the next day or two, we've got a blog post on our uh, GraceMonroeHome.com page that will be coming out that will be showing some of my spring stuff. Well, I was going to get it out for you guys today, but then the power then went the out. Then the power went for out. several yep. hours today. Yep. So that didn't happen. So maybe by Monday I'll have it for you guys. Yeah. Because it, it, it's... Yeah, it's this was just... Uh, the What I'm showing in there is just my dining room, but I'm going to show others. But it was just so much fun picking out all the stuff for it. Okay, now what I am doing is I'm just push pushing up on some of the flowers. I just take the stems and take my thumb and my finger and bend the stems forward on some of them. Now, some of them I'm going to leave out because I want it to look full all around. So, I'm just kind of pulling things over here and there and just getting them exactly bent up where they're showing pretty and like i said before you can use different kind of flowers you could use all greenery if you wanted to or you could use tulips they would be pretty and they would too. be beautiful um, yes. the amazon tulips or the michael's tulips would be really oh pretty. they really pretty. would hey berlin thank you so much for adding that uh link to the bicycle wheel in oh here. thank we you really, that, yes we do yeah we really appreciate that, that. is very thank helpful you. thank you uh tracy you ordered yours on Sam's Club online, didn't you? I ordered it online. Yeah. Uh-huh. I did. Yeah, so if you have that option, they do have it online. Yep. And so it's I just, thought. like I said, it's it's so adorable. I think all you have to do, uh, Tracy, is just put in, in the search bar, put in Easter decor, and it should come up, because that's how I found it. I just went to see what they had uh, and just happened to see it. This is actually really really simple to make it is simple. and it's so cute um I love that's the what i said I mean, and there's nobody that couldn't make this now the bow you know the bow is a little bit uh diff you know it's not hard not but hard uh and we we've got a uh tutorial that we'll link so um but you could use just a little hand tied bow anything just to put in the middle of the flowers would be just fine i think this would, would be cute too um I don't know if you've seen, 
well I have the one stuck here but I don't know if you've seen how we have made the the scrap the bow from the scraps of ribbon Yes, oh my gosh. something like that. It is that literally be... the simplest thing to make. Oh, it's so we, simple. You just stack up little scraps of ribbon pieces, and that would be cute in the center of this too, because it's like that shabby look. You could put yes. like a little bit of lace and some things like that, and fun little whip pieces of uh, different little pieces of ribbon. I and think I, that kind of bow would look cute in this too. It would. I'm sitting here thinking that I may add some of the little flowers. Now, normally I don't like to glue uh flowers in my actual bow i usually kind of move my uh loops around and put it into the grapevine and then move my you know uh loops back around but in this case because we don't have that to do i'm thinking about gluing just a few so let me see what if i like that or not i'm trying to read hey, we're so glad you're here with us today I think I'm going to. Uh, I'm Nancy asks, how do you imagine the wreath prior to doing one? Do you put flowers together and try to imagine it together because you're both great at what you do? Oh, thank you. Thank uh, you for uh, saying Nancy. that. Um, I think both ways, really. Sometimes if I'm, if I'm actually out somewhere shopping and looking at flowers, I'll get an idea. Usually it's either a greenery that I see that, that, you know, I'm interested in doing a whole wreath with, or I'll per find a particular flower and, and start thinking of it from that perspective. Sometimes it's the ribbon, but usually there's one item that I plan everything around. Uh, yeah, in this case, it was the wheel, which yes. actually we kind of, um, a few days ago, we had gotten the wheel and the bunny in, and we're like, hmm, I don't, we didn't necessarily intend for them to go together, but no, they sure exactly. look cute together. We but thought. they did, yeah, yeah. So then today we kind of just came up with the different uh, things we wanted to do with it. And really, like I said, with the flowers, we just kind of grabbed some. So, you know, you could use whatever you had on hand. Uh, you really, really could. You know, anything goes, really. You definitely could. This is one that's just so easy to make. I found a a little butterfly here. I thought well, I could. Oh yeah. Oh, that would it right there go good the with it too. Be, yep, that would be cute. It, it kind of matches. It's that green. Mm-hmm. I think he'd color. be cute. Since it is spring, Easter wreath. Yep. I just get a little, a little dab of glue. A little dab of do ya? A little dab. Of Who remembers yeah. that old? commercial a long time ago. A, a little dab will do you. I think it was Brill Cream though. <laughs> and y'all, and I'm sure there's a lot on here that don't know what Brill Cream was, but some of us older people do. A and I mean, dab. if you wanted to go super elaborate with one of these, you could. I, I kind of like less is more. I think. Yeah, I, I don't think you, you really wouldn't have to put hardly anything and it still would be adorable. But I kind of like the flowers through the bow. Yeah. Either way. So, yeah. And easy, easy. And, and I, I don't care if you've never done anything with flowers, you can do this. Oh, yeah. Uh, and really, probably, like I said, the, the most difficult part is just holding the... the uh, is holding it, yeah. The flowers in your hand. But... Cause I mean, and that's it. I mean, yes. you, know, you don't have to really arrange them like you're doing an arrangement. No, I mean, that and that's what I was going to say. You don't have to, you know, just get them basically about where you want them in your hand. It does not have to be perfect because once you get them onto the uh, wheel, then you can move them around once you zip tie them together. So, you know, just kind of get them up in your hand. So somebody uh, in the comments was asking what the back looks like. This is what the back looks like. I mean, you know, you're going to, of course, see your little, yeah. um, your little zip, zip tie, tie, unless you use a you green know, one. So, and you can find green ones. But, I mean, it's pretty clean. It's very lightweight. Yeah, very lightweight, exactly. I, I actually was surprised that these, because I knew they were a little bit larger, so I, you know, I thought they might be heavier, but they're not. So cute. And you could do this. I know that they've got several colors, 
So if you don't care for the mint green, you could do, you know, any color. Like I said, you could leave off the bunny. You could put, you know, something else here, a little saying or, you know, a little plaque that has something written on it or anything like that. Or you could just... Or a, a monogram, a letter. Yeah, you could do a letter. You know? Or you could just leave it blank. Or you could leave it blank. Exactly. The wheel. Exactly. Because um, it's cute, too. Because I mean, it really is. But... So yeah. easy and so cute. And you Let's can see, do Debbie said, when you color. go out shopping, do you buy flowers or greenery because you like them and will use it one day, or do you shop by a wreath you're making for tomorrow? Um, both, really. But most of the time, I just buy. I just buy. Yeah. Because I buy we, large we buy, quantities, you know, so. We buy, we have so many flowers. Yes. That we just buy. Sometimes I wish we would scale it back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's never going to happen, just so you know. It would be I nice love, if we I love just flowers. bought for what we were yeah, using. Yeah, <laughs> I know, because I do buy, I do, I do buy a lot. Yeah, we're kind but, of, uh, we're kind of uh, flower hoarders. Yeah, <laughs> we are. I'll be, I'll admit to it. I love it, though, and especially, you know, finding, I, I'm always looking for something interesting, new. And let me show you. I got to get something. Hold on just a minute. I can get to it. Oh, but don't but don't give away what we're doing for Design with the Pros Club. Yeah, no, because I am using these in Design with the Pros Club for this month's wreath. But Those are look really at these. And they're called something something daisy. It's not your Gerber Daisy. These are called is something like Gaza? I can't remember. But um, are they not beautiful? I told Amanda, I said, you could stick that in a pot and look how pretty that would be. So cute. Yeah, you and I mean, you could put that in a vase. Yeah. Something. You really nice. could. And I just they fell look, in love with these. They, they look are real just, too. aren't those gorgeous? They really do. These were, they had them in pink or in uh, white. And I think these I got at Michael's, but you have to order them online. They do not have them in the store. And I think they were two ninety nine a stem, two dollars and ninety nine cents a stem. That's interesting because that is not Michael's brand. I know, it? I know, huh. it's not. It's Silk Vision. So I was surprised, but you can find them on their website because mm -hmm. that's where I got those. And aren't they beautiful? So I had no idea what I was going to do with them when I found them. I really didn't, but I just thought those are gorgeous. I actually did not know that the actual flower was going to be as large as it was, but I love it. Mm -hmm. It is really cute. It really is. So anyway, I just had to show y'all that. And let's see if we have any questions here. Harrietta says, how do you store your flowers? In buckets. We, we don't know. <laughs> I will just go ahead and tell y'all, we, that is not our um, uh, we're not expertise yes there's probably somebody we are not out the there most that has organized a, a in much the bunch. a much better system for storing flowers because we yes. literally use big buckets yeah and, and we, we just try put them we, in the buckets. we try to color like ha we have them organized by colors we try yes doesn't always stay that way because like i said we're more the creative type rather than the organ yes you know and organized. especially, she, she's trying to be <laughs> I'm just nice. Being honest. She's being nice because she knows that I start looking for something and go like this, trying to find it out of a bucket. And so, yeah. So we start with things, you know, color coded. Yeah. But right now. Until her mama gets a hold of it. That's a <laughs> it, it's a shameful mess right now. I'm just yeah. being honest. Y'all yeah. don't want to see it. It is. But so, you know yeah. what? I've been very creative lately. Yeah, well. I'm and in my creative stage right now. And if, so if you have a good tip for organizing flowers, just post that in the comments yes. and let us know because we would love to know that as well as I'm sure some of you. Because exactly I know we're not right. the only creatives out there that are just like, ah, I know. Flowers everywhere. I know. And it's the truth. We have them everywhere. Yes. And I, we've told this story before. So if you've watched us, you've heard. But um, back several years ago we had an employee that um she was amazing she was so organized and was so good at at keeping everything just perfect and uh the only thing she wouldn't touch was my table and because my table that i work on is usually piled high with with stuff 
but I know where it all is. I know where every piece of greenery that I need is in that pile. And so she knew she wasn't supposed to touch that pile of my stuff and it would drive her crazy to see my big pile, but she wouldn't touch it. It's like organized chaos. Yes, it was, exactly. I, I knew where it was. Amanda would say, is, would say where is so-and-so? And I'd say, it's right here. And I then I can pull it out. I know where it is. It's just yeah. in my pile. <laughs> I got my pile. Yeah. So I'm sure there's somebody out there that has a fantastic organization. Yes. You know, way we're not those people. We'll, we'll tell you how we do. We try to keep them color. Yeah, color, uh, color, huh, yeah. color coordinated is. But that doesn't yes. always work out that way. In fact, my husband came in just right before we left, <laughs> and I saw his eyes. Like I, I knew, knew what, what he, he was, was thinking. thinking like, when he oh in here. yeah, like, she's been at it again. And, and I, we should show y'all. But we're not. But we're not. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> because there are literally flowers everywhere. Yeah, not showing that. <laughs> no. Maybe one of these days we'll be brave enough to show y'all behind the scenes. And then you'll see that. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Cr we're creative and, yeah. we, and we're not that organized. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let's see. But Andrew, I admire y'all that are. I do. That are both. It's a, it's Those a, that are creative and now organized. That is my gift. gosh, y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. A, so if you are creative and very organized, that is a gift. It's a true gift. Yes, true gift. Yep. <laughs> Sandra says, "Sign of creative, of, of creative genius." Yeah, that's <laughs> something. Sign it's of something, something. Yeah, that's the truth. And uh, let's see. Nancy says, "One more question: How do you store your wreaths at home?" Oh, we. I don't know if y'all can see, but our whole shop. Yeah, now, we this just, is in the shop. Every, yeah, because see, we just board, yeah, and we and just we just hang them on the wall. We hang them on the wall, and now so. at home, like if I have extras at home, I keep, I'm I just keep them in the shed. I mean, I'm not if it's really something I don't want to mess up, I'll put it in a garbage bag, and then put it, you know, up yeah. In the, on and the I shelf. usually just bring mine in here and, and put them on the pegboard. So. Yeah. Yeah, but pegboard, if you have a, a shop, a craft room or, you know, a studio or a shop, this pegboard, this is from wall control and it is great. It is amazing. It yes, is this is an actual metal and you can get it in colors. It, it, we love it. I love it. Yeah, and so we'll get like the long, um, you can get the long sticks and put it on there and then you can put a couple of wreaths. One, yeah, two on or each three one. Wreaths on, mm -hmm. will hang on each one. Yeah. So and they don't get mashed or, you know, messed up or anything. Let's see. Angel said she likes the clear totes from Walmart that have the gasket on the lid so it's sealed well. That's a those good idea. Those are good, Angel, yeah, yes. To get some I've got those. Christmas stuff mm -hmm. in that. Those, those work well. And Debbie says, thank goodness I'm not the only one. You're not. I started in one room and my flowers have multiplied into four. Oh, rooms. don't I remember before we got shop, our first shop, <laughs> now we have two at least but three. Uh, three really yeah but um before then I, I had the same problem i mean it, i started at my dining room table and it just multiplied you remember those it's days like a, of course that was years it, ago but it's just like crows yes it <laughs> does and i don't know how i don't either but it, it does uh, self multiply and, and or angel says show it laugh out loud okay yeah well, no we will maybe get brave enough one of these days Probably not, though. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it when she does it. No, she will not. <laughs> and Brandy I said, would be too embarrassed. <laughs> and Brandy said, I have a craft room, and now I've taken over the guest room. Yeah, yes. well. Been there, done that. It's like it takes over everything. It does. It really does. <laughs> Reads, so, hey, it, it's because you can't help it once you make one. It, it, you just get that love of it and that that's exactly what what happened yeah, and, i mean it did and if you're like us it's like you see something you have to buy it and you know because you're going to use it one day maybe one day yeah i've got stuff <laughs> from i don't even know how long that i was going to use it one day and i still am and that just was like, hadn't done it yet what a few five years, years ago, ago? Yeah. <laughs> But I'm still going to use it one day. You never know. That's right. When the inspiration will strike and you will need just that item. That's exactly. That and, and it's the truth because I have done that. I have found things, you know, so you just never know. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a healthy addiction, Andrea says. It is. It there, very there much is. It could be worse, I'm yes, sure. Yes, it could. 
Uh, Liz says, my husband just built me some more shelves on the other side of my shed, and it helps so much. I organized as much as I could by seasons. Yes, yes and now I will good. say, like ribbon and things like that, we definitely organize yes. by season. Yes, and I've got totes that I put those in. So, so that's, that's That way good. we can just, like Christmas, we'll just move out, and yeah. we won't bring it back until, you know, it's time to start making Christmas right. trees. So right. ribbon and things like that, we definitely do. Um, like accents and ornaments and things like that. We yes, do well. we do. We keep those in totes and bring them in and out. So yeah. yeah, so things like that we definitely organize by season. It's just the flowers. It's the flowers and the greenery yeah. that gets that that I have the problem with. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, and Brady said I ain't scared to show my. I'll show my chaos. <laughs> Well, maybe one of these days. Uh-uh. Y'all will get it <laughs> behind the scenes, but I probably will have to. Yeah, no. Do it on. Uh-uh. Like, I'm going to lock the know, door. She doesn't know. Hide the key. Oh. And I might pay for it later. <laughs> oh, she will. So y'all will have I to, can promise you. Y'all will she have will. to have my back. Yeah, she, she will definitely pay for that. <sighs> Uh, Debbie said, do you have something on the floor to catch the glue? Yeah, we actually, um, we just have an old rug. We just got a really big old yes. rug. Actually, I think we got it on Facebook Marketplace for super cheap. Somebody was getting rid of it. It's big. It and it fit. just covers, and we knew it was going to get. Yeah, so we didn't care if it got, we got didn't like super care. cheap. Yeah. Now, um, like in our workstation, we also, in the other shop, have the, the pads. The pads, like mm -hmm. the big the padded pads. padded mats. So you can stand on them and, you know, your feet, it helps your feet not hurt so yeah. much. And, you know, if you drop glue, it's fine. It's fine, I mean, yeah. But yes, for in here, we have just a really Yeah, otherwise, room. you know, it, it will get every, I, we tend to sling it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a slinger for <laughs> she, sure. She's definitely, but I, I am too. We both are slingers, but she's worse than When I, I get fast and when I'm making a lot Yes, and time, she's the fastest. Whew, I will sling glue everywhere. People think I can make one fast. No. This I, will, one. I will look like I got spider webs all she the way will, around yeah. because I'm just going. <laughs> yep. So I get it everywhere. Uh, let's see. Nancy said, do you burn your fingers a lot from the hot glue? She said, I'm new and having trouble with that. Yes, yes. It's kind you'll, of part of it. <laughs> yes, it's part of it. Unfortunately, I do. Um, we kind of joke saying we ha we no longer have fingerprints. I, I, I'm convinced I don't have fingerprints any longer, but, you know, that it is part of it. I've tried. My husband has bought me several different kinds of, gl of gloves that you're supposed to be able to pick up the tiniest thing and all of that, and I, I, th I just can't use them. I've tried. Now, I will say... I feel like the glue skillet is a lot easier to work with than a glue gun. I Definitely. burn myself terrible when, oh, when I try to use a glue yes. gun. But, you know, I mean, when you're working with hot glue, it's kind of... It, it's just tough. I mean, I mean it, it just is. You know, it does happen. Yeah. Yeah, we do tell everybody we don't have fingerprints anymore. <laughs> well, this has been fun. It I mean, this really was so has. simple. Yeah. And like I said earlier, you could make this as simple or as elaborate as you wanted to. I kind of went really a little could. more simple with mine. But if you wanted to add, you know, more flowers, you could. But yep. I think it turned out really cute. And they it's really so, are so cute. easy to make. Mm hmm And, yeah, the, like she said, you could pick out whatever flowers and uh, just make it your own. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Nancy said she just got the glue skillet the other day, and she loves it. It works fast, too. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a game changer, for it sure. It is. For it sure. is. But this looks fun, and it's kind of different, and I think it's going to look cute. I think I, I think, think yours will look cute on the side of, like, in that spot where you uh, have oh, your... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your over initial my, over there. Yeah, that would, yes, that's exactly where I need it. So I might have to keep these. I, I think I am going to keep this one, because <laughs> I love it. This is fun. Yes, it has maybe, been. Maybe we'll keep one. Maybe we might give one of these away. Ooh, I'm keeping mine. We might give hers away. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if you guys would like us to give one of these away, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we, we, we will certainly do that. But this has been really fun. I would part with it for one of y'all. Yeah. And I hope y'all have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask those in the comments. We are happy to answer those questions for you. We do come back and look at the comments, so... If you've got a question, yep. feel free to ask. 
And Amanda will be putting the link to our, our Amazon page where it shows all of the different flowers that we use that are from Amazon that uh, we love. Yeah, and the uh, wheel and the bunny are both from TMIgifts.com and I'll also have the link for those yeah. for you as well. But we thank y'all so much for joining us yes, for Flower we Friday. Um, we're live every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for Flower Friday Live. So y'all be sure to join us next week. That's right. We'll have something pretty next week. We will see you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.